Shalom, Achi, Achoti, my brothers and my sisters, peace be with you in the name of Yahuwah. Hallelujah. Um, yeah, I thought I'd read Yes, Yahu 58. Cry aloud, do not spare. Lift up your voice like a ram's horn. Declare to my people their transgression. And the house of Jacob their sins. Yet they seek me day by day and delight to know my ways. As a nation that did righteousness and did not forsake the right ruling up there, Elohim. They ask of me right ruling of righteousness. They delight to draw near to Elohim. Why have we fasted? And you have not seen. Why have you afflicted your beings and you did not take note? Look. In the day of your fasting, you find pleasure and drive on all your labors. Look, you fast for strife and contention and the strike with the fist of wickedness. You do not fast as you do this day to make your voice heard on high. Is it a fast that I have chosen? A day for a man to afflict his being? Is it to bow down his head like a bulrush and spread out sackcloth and ashes? Do you call this a fast? An acceptable day to Yahuwah? Is this not the fast? that I have chosen to loosen the tight cords of wickedness, to undo the bands of yoke, to exempt the oppressed, and to break off every yoke. Is it not to share your bread with the hungry, and that you bring to your house the poor who are cast out when you see the naked and cover him and not hide yourself from your own flesh when your light then your light would break forth like the morning your healing spring forth speedily and your righteousness shall go before you. The esteem of Yahuwah would be your rear guard. Then, when you call, <clears throat> Yahuwah would answer. When you cry, he would say, Here I am. If you take away the yoke from your mist, the pointing of the finger and the speaking of unrighteousness. If you extend your being to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted being, then your light shall draw in the darkness. And your darkness be as noon. Then Yahuwah would guide you continually and satisfy your being in drought and strengthen your bones and you shall be like a watered garden like a spring of water whose waters do not fail and those from among you shall build up the old waste places 
You shall raise up the foundations of many generations, and you would be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of the streets to dwell in. If you do turn back your foot from the Sabbath, from doing your pleasure on my Godesh set apart Yom day, and shall call the Sabbath a delight, the Kodesh of Yahuwah esteemed, and esteem it not doing your own ways, nor finding your own pleasure, nor speaking your own words, then you shall delight yourself in Yahuwah, and I shall cause you to ride on the heights of the earth, and feed you with the inheritance of Yaakov, your father, for the mouth of Yahuwah has spoken. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yashiyahu 58. Clearly tells us Yahuwah's intentions for us. The path that we're to walk in. And we're not to do our own will. We're not to think to lean on our own understanding. To make flesh our strong arm. We are to live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of Elohim. For it is written. We really need to uh, seek Yahuwah. By reading and studying his scripture. And showing ourselves approved. Being led by his ruach, his wind and breath. To all truth. Not just some. But all truth. And our healing will come. Just like, just like it's spoken. Just like it's written, Yeshiyahu 58 clearly demonstrates to us the path that we're to walk upon. Clearly demonstrates to us what we are to do, the fast that he called us to. If we refuse to walk in this path, I, I shudder to think what will happen to us if we do that, if we, if we continue on our own path and refuse and harden our head and stiffen our neck. Not a good thing. Well, um, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope you uh, received the truth that his, that Yahuwah's Ruach brings through his band, Yahushua. And um, it, it's like his, his band taught us his, his Torah, his word, his loving instruction, made flesh, dwelt among us, but men did not perceive his word, because they loved their deeds more than they loved him. Um, one doesn't put a lamp, a bushel over a lamp, but he puts it on a lamp stand for the whole house to see. And that's 
what we're to do. Shalom to you, peace to you, and Baruch, Baruch you, bless you. In the name of Yahuwah, hallelujah, Amen.